This question is also testing function notation. So we just need to be able to read it and understand what it means. And so the first place I'll go is right here. G of three is equal to 2,375. This is a point. This is telling us that when X is three, the Y coordinate is 2,375. So if I have a point and I have an equation, then it's very simple. I'm going to plug points into equations. This is my default strategy for every question, but especially if I see a point in an equation, I'm, I know I'm gonna use it. The, the hardest part for most people is they don't think of function notation as providing you with a point. So you have to be able to translate that point into the more familiar x, y. At least for me, I have to think of it that way. So eventually we're gonna do g of four, but let's start with just plugging the point in. Don't think too hard about it. So the y coordinate, or the g in this case, is 2,375, and that is equal to 19 times a to the x. The x coordinate is this three, because notice the three is in place of the x on the um, g of x. Uh, setup. So it's kind of annoying. We do need to do a little algebra here. So the way to solve for a, which we should do just because we can, is to divide by 19. So let's just get the normal calculator here, normal scientific calculator. 2,375 divided by 19 is 125. So 125 is equal to a cubed. Uh, you might know this. Now, if you know how to use your calculator, you might be able to find a cube root button. Mine, I'm not going to bother showing you. It's, gonna, it's not going to show up, but it's on the, the little carrot button. So right here, it's this button, but I have to do the, the second, the shift button. So I'm going to do second, sh uh, uh, or I have to do three, and then that button, and then 125. And I know this in my head, but I'm just going to show you anyway. And we're going to do the cubed root then of both sides and the cubed root of 125 is five. So that's the value of A. Now, why does that help? Well, I needed the A in order to be able to solve the real part of the question, which is finding G of four. So this is also a point. However, now it's a point that we only have the X coordinate for and we're being asked to solve for the Y. So it's basically the same process, except now we don't know G of four, it's a mystery. We still have 19. We now know our A is five and our X has changed to four. So okay, let's just simplify this. Five to the fourth, five to the fourth is 625. So 19 times 625 is 11,875 and that is the answer. So it's a big number. We can bubble it in really easily. 11,875, that is it. That's all you have to do. Uh, this was a little bit of a tedious question, a lot of steps, a lot of you know algebra that we had to do along the way, but in terms of the strategy, it's just plug points into equations, and this is why that strategy is so important, is even though it looks intimidating and looks kind of like it's going to be uh, conceptually difficult, it actually ends up being very conceptually easy. We just need to perform the algebra. Everything else kind of falls into place because we're only thinking in terms of points and equations. So make sure you can spot when you've got those two things, points and equations, especially when the points are written in function notation.